Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show how to change policies, how to change the settings in the policies using PowerShell. Okay. In this video, I'm going to show how to change the settings. So before I run some commands on PowerShell, I'm going to open group policy editor. Okay. G. Okay. GP edit dot MSC. So this is my desktop delivery controller or controller. So I'm going to open GP edit. Okay. So this is group policy editor. So you have computer configuration and you also have user configuration. So if you want to, you know, change the policies under computer configuration, you can click on Citrix policies. Okay. So once you click on it, you are going to see the Citrix policies here in a minute. So if you see here, you see policies and you also see templates. So this is for computer configuration. So if you want to do it for user configuration, you can click on user configuration and you can click on Citrix policies. So once you click on Citrix policies, this is going to show policies for Citrix, Citrix user policies. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to apply a policy for computer configuration. So once I click on Citrix policies, if you see here, if you see here, there are many policies. There are many. If you click on settings, if you click on settings, give me a minute. If you click on edit, if you click on settings. So these are all the policies that you can use. Actually, these are all the policies that you can change or you can use. So in this video, in this video, let me, okay, let me stop here. Okay, if you see here, if you see here in this video, uh, the ICA listener port number is set to 1495. Okay, ICA port number is actually 1494, but not 1495. So in some environments, some customers would like to change the port numbers, but the, the right port number should be 1494. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to change the port number here. I'm going to use the Citrix policies. I'm sorry. I'm going to use the PowerShell to change the port number for this particular policy. Okay. So I'm going to cancel this. Now I'm going back to the PowerShell. I would like to change this port number to 1494, but not 1495. So I'm going back to PowerShell. So this is my PowerShell. So first thing what you need to do is you need to type ASNP Citrix. I think you guys already know this. So ASNP space Citrix star hit enter. So once you hit enter, you can run, you can start running Citrix commandlets. Okay. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me type PS drive PowerShell drive PS drive and I'm going to hit enter So once you type PS drive, you're going to see all the drive information. Okay So the thing that we are more interested here is This one local GPO local GPO. So I'm going to so PS drive is going to give all the uh, you know data all the data on your particular system So this is C drive D drive and all the other things that you can find under PS drive, which is very very important So the thing I'm more more interested is local GPO because I'm going to change the policy using local GPO So I'm going to copy it now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simply type CD Okay CD and I'm going to Paste local GPO. I just copied this from here and I, and I pasted it here and I'm going to hit enter so once you hit enter, you are in this particular directory. So I'm going to type DIR directory. Okay, now it is showing user and computers. These are user policies and these are computer policies. So in order to change the port number, we need to go to computer policies. Okay, so I'm going to type CD computer, CD computer, hit enter. Okay, so I am in computer right now. Now I'm going to type DIR. It is going to show the list of directories. Or list okay now under once I type dir I see unfiltered okay I see unfiltered so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this and type cd space unfiltered and I'm going to hit enter so it is going to show all the policies I'm going to hit enter okay I'm going to type dir now directory so I'm going inside unfiltered okay so it is showing settings. So these are the settings that I have CD space settings. 
hit enter so you are inside the settings now now it is it is going to show the list of policies i'm going to type dir so these are the things these are the policies that you can change actually config manager icl licensing load management power and capacity management server settings user profile manager so you need to navigate through these things to find out you know the right information so in order to change the port number we need to go to ica so we, we are interested to get into this directory ICA so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type CD ICA and I'm going to hit enter so I'm inside ICA now I'm going to type DIR directory now it is going to show a list of things under this particular policy so it says okay so this one okay these are the things okay application launch wait timeout okay PS child name so these are the important things okay this is HDX adaptive transport okay and if you see here if you see here this one is ICA listener port number if you see here this is ICA listener port number and the port number is 1495 here the port number is 1495 so I need to change the port number to 1494 1494 is the port number that I need to set so what I'm going to do is I am going to I am going to uh, I need to go into this directory go into this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the entire thing I'm going to copy the okay I'm going to copy the entire PS path so this is the PS path so let me do one thing let me minimize this okay now it is going to copy the entire thing okay 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 so so I copied the entire thing just copy and what you can do is uh, okay so you are already you know inside ICA so what you can do is you can type CD space CD space uh, CD space let me type okay let me type ICA listener port number okay let me copy this let me see what is going to happen here I'm going to hit enter okay now let me type DIR okay it is not going anywhere so what we need to do is we need to set item basically we need to set item so in order to change anything you need to use set item as the command okay let me show that to you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply type okay uh okay so we know the path we know the complete path here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open a new powershell window run as administrator okay so I'm going to type set hyphen item set hyphen item okay now I'm going to type I'm going to copy this entire thing I'm going to copy this entire thing it's in it's in a notepad actually okay so I'm going to copy the entire thing I'm going to copy the entire thing copy and I'm going back to the PowerShell I'm going back to the PowerShell and I'm going to paste it here okay so you're just copying this and you you're pasting it pasting it here you need to use the command as set hyphen item which is very very important set hyphen item I'm going to hit enter okay it is throwing some kind of error let me see I think I've entered something wrong here okay set item okay one second let me go back citrix common group policy citrix group policy okay set item citrix uh, common citrix group policy local gpo computer unfiltered settings ICA okay let me do one thing uh, let me do one thing let me just type let me just type okay let me just uh, very interesting let me copy this
okay i think what i have done is i have i need to type asnp citrix first i missed this command okay asnp citrix so that could be the problem actually because you know i opened a new powershell window so whenever you open a new powershell window you need to log into you need to type asnp citrix otherwise you cannot activate citrix commandlet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply type the upward arrow so set hyphen item citrix everything looks good i'm going to hit enter okay okay it is still throwing the error i know what is the issue here i have executed the command set hyphen item the actual command is set hyphen item property okay the command is set hyphen item property so that could be the issue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply type set hyphen item property okay p r o p e r t y and i'm going to hit enter okay if you see now it is asking me to enter the name so i am going to type the name as value name is value okay now it is asking what is the value that you would like to enter so i am going to type 1494 so i want the port number to be 1494 okay 1494 i am going to hit enter so once you hit enter Let us wait for a few seconds until this policy gets applied. Okay, seems like the policy got applied, but let's go back and cross check. Okay, let me close everything. Let me close everything. I'm going to close it and I'm going to reopen it. I'm going to reopen gpedit.msc. Okay. So this is group policy editor. I'm going to open this. So once you open it, we need to go under computer configuration citrix policies so once i click on it now if 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 it is done correctly we need to change the port number we need to see the port number as 1494 if you see here the port number has changed to 1494 let me click on edit once you click on edit okay you see the port number as 1494 so initially the port number was 1495 so our whole idea was to change the port number to 1494 we did it using powershell now we came back and we see that the policy has been applied the port number has changed to 1494 successfully okay so this is how we can change the policies we can also play with policies using powershell okay we can use powershell to you know change various things in the citrix policies okay i hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching i will catch you in the next video bye bye